Hi, so I'm going to do one last video clip on um, Giucci Beats and Tyco, Basic Beats and Tyco. And uh, I, I did two other clips. One uh, had the straight beat and swing beat. That was one clip. Another clip was the horse beat and the Mazzetti beat. So what I'd like to do in this clip is talk about how you can combine those patterns together to improvise a little bit. Because the role that you have when you're playing the G is really to do two things. One is to be very steady and keep time, tempo, and uh, you want to put feeling into it. And so sometimes, you know, when you're talking about adding some feeling into what you're playing, it means, you know, you don't want to be too mechanical with your playing and, and you know, repetitive. So. Um, I liken it to the ride cymbal when a Western drummer is playing. The, you know, let's take the swing beat, for example. If you're playing the swing beat on the ride cymbal, okay, that, that's perfectly fine. However, most of the time when a jazz drummer is playing that, he's going to jazz it up a little bit, you know, um, no pun intended, but you know, you, you know what I mean. It's like he, he wanna make, you want to put some feeling into it, you want to make it a little more interesting. So, anyway, the same applies to the G beat and Tycho. So let's take, for example, the straight beat. Take it, 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 combined with the horse beat. That would be one example of how you can take those two beats together and uh, ad-lib it a little bit. So I'm doing basically a straight beat with a horse beat ad-lib. Of course, you could do the horse beat and do straight beat ad-lib. So let's say I'm doing the horse beat G. horse beat, but I was putting some straight sticking uh, take a takey beats in between. Uh, the first time I was primarily doing a straight G and putting horse beat in. Okay. So you have to think about what's your primary rhythm and then use the other ones as your ad lib. Um, the Matsuri beat, right? This uh, okay. is a nice ad lib also. So let's say you're playing your straight G. City beat in there. Then you could take it further and you could combine all three of those. So playing straight, throwing in the horse beat, throwing in the Matsuri beat. Okay, so that would be an example of mixing the three together. Swing beat is a little more tricky because most of the time when people start ad-libbing on the swing they have a hard time keeping the swing in the beat so you have to you have to think about it whenever you're doing the swing beat everything has to have swing so if you're putting like a little horse beat in there too which is always fun but um, but that you know has to have the swing in it too so your horse speed instead of being played just straight has to have a swing in it right Matsuri beat same thing taking the Matsuri beat and swing beat and of course then you can combine those three horse beat Matsuri beat swing and you can ad-lib it so um, 
that's where you have to go next. And of course, um, the one other thing that you could pr try putting in is a, uh, a dull time feeling or a triplet. Now, we I did a, a separate video on triplet exercises, but triplet being the accented triplet. Okay, that would be a triplet on the swing beat. Uh, you know, playing a straight beat, sometimes you want to do a little double timing. Okay. So, uh, you got to practice that. You got to practice being able to change. You know, straight beat G to a double time uh, st stroke roll, right? Double time stroke roll. So then you can add that in as well with your horse beat. And that would be all three of those uh, the, you know, double time roll, horse beat, Mod City beat. Um, so practice those. Uh, of course, triplet is always handy, uh, especially like a triplet on a, on a swing beat with an accent. So uh, those are ideas for ad-libbing. Um, keep practicing. If you need to go back and review those other clips that I made, take a look at them. Uh, and hopefully it'll give you, uh, as you watch them in the sequence, give you an idea of how we're building on these things so that uh, you can start making your playing more interesting and get into some more... Uh, technical playing and uh, have some more fun.